What is up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. If you guys are enjoying the videos, hit that like button, it lets me know and it helps the channel grow. And drop a comment down below, I try to respond to all the comments I can and hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys do enjoy these videos. Let's go see what we can find this week. Ten bucks. Ten bucks, the old Air Max ones. Like this lavender colorway and gold. Cool colorway and you're actually pretty clean still. They just need a good cleaning. Yeah, I'll take them. There you go. Okay. All right, thank, thank you. you. Two bucks. Brand new Arizona Diamondback snapback. Five signatures. She usually gives me the hats for a dollar, but she said two bucks this time, which is understandable because it's on the new. So out of the five dollar pile, I dug this stuff out. We got the Chris Webber Kings jersey. And we got a pair of Chicago up tempos and a pair of air forces. Another one from the five dollar pile. Pretty dirty, but I can probably clean them. We'll take it. So for whatever reason, I found this already out here. Thirty-five dollars. You gave it to me for. He wanted 40, but he told me to do 35. Didn't this game just come out like a couple months ago? I don't know. All right, guys, we are back. So let's go ahead and jump into everything that I picked up this weekend. So the first thing I actually picked up, I paid $10 for this, and that is a Game Boy Advance right here in the indigo color. Unfortunately, it's not the SP, so it doesn't have a black light. I have no idea why they didn't put a backlight on these. I never understood why. It came with a copy of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Unfortunately, it is missing the back, but the last one that I had like this, I ended up selling for like 40 bucks without the back anyway. Um, I still haven't gotten around to test if it works or not, but I mean, Usually when I find these, I never have any issues. For two bucks, I picked up a loose copy of NCAA Football 13. Last time I sold a copy of this, I sold it for 25, I think. Um, it's been a minute. I don't know if this game still has value, but I figured for two bucks, I go ahead and grab it. I do gotta find a case to put it in though. And then for 35 bucks, uh, I thought it would be a minute before I found any of these, but I was wrong. <laughs> and that is a PS5 game and it's Spider-Man Miles Morales. Ended up paying 35 for this one, like I said. Um, I know it's, I can probably get like 50 for it because it is still brand new sealed, but I'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to hold on to it until I get a PS5 because I am going to get one eventually. I'm just not in a hurry. So I'm not too sure if I'm going to hold on to this or if I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. But I just thought it was cool that I was already finding PS5 games at the flea market. So I went ahead and scooped that one up. And then the last game I picked up, um, this is kind of cool. It is a game, but it's not like, you know, like the last couple I've shown you. It's actually one of these uh, Tiger handhelds right here. And as you can see, this one is actually Mortal Kombat. That one is dated 1988 on the back. Got Sub-Zero, Kano, and uh, Goro on the front. And it actually still has the back on it. So that's always a plus, unlike the Game Boy. This one actually does have it. I picked this up for $7, I wanna say. And I've seen that these go anywhere from like 30 to 40, so figured uh, that was a decent pickup. Then I picked this up, paid five bucks for these. Um, not really a video game, but it's not really like clothing either. <laughs> so I'll just throw it in right here in the middle. Um, it's this starter deck for Initial D trading card game. Not sure when this game came out. Um, I'm assuming it's like early 2000s. You just have like your MR2 starter car. Not too sure how you play it. I'm assuming that uh, you get like one car in your deck um, and then the rest of them are kind of just like um, supporter cards, but I'm not too sure. If anybody's actually ever played this, let me know. But my sister actually thrifted a booster box of these Initial D cards a couple years ago. And being an Initial D fan, I would like to get those from her, but she doesn't want to get rid of them, which is fine. <laughs> but I did find this starter deck. Moving on, I picked up a couple of uh, Call of Duty shirts, which I guess are video game related. The reason I picked them up is because they were only a dollar and they're still all brand new. So the first one is this Call of Duty Modern Warfare one right here. That one is a size XL. You can see it has the tag on it. And then I picked up two of these uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Zombies ones. 
and there's the graphic on that one. It's kind of hard to see through the plastic, but I don't want to open them because I am going to be selling these. And I just picked up two of those, so three dollars total for those three shirts. Scooped up one hat. Uh, this lady usually gives me her hats for a dollar, but she charged me two for this one. I'm assuming because it is brand new with tags. And that is the Arizona Diamondback snapback right here. Um, as you can see, it is new with tags, like I said. And that one is out in today's signatures. It does need a little reshaping, but for only two bucks for a brand new hat, couldn't pass that one up. Picked up a couple of shirts. Uh, I guess I'll start with this crew neck. Picked this one up for one dollar, and that is the Houston Rockets uh, crew neck right here. You just have Houston Rockets spelled out right there on the front with the logo, of course. I've always really liked this logo with the little rocket. And that one is a size medium on a lease sports tag. Still pretty clean overall. So for only a dollar, had to scoop that one up. This next shirt I paid five dollars for, but definitely worth it. So this shirt, um, this guy, he always has a bunch of stuff to throw on the ground. It's always cheap, like a dollar. But sometimes you'll find stuff, and then when you take it to him to go ask him how much it is, he'll take it and be like, oh, I didn't mean to put that in there. Or, oh, uh, I wanted to keep this one. So I was kind of expecting him to do that with this one, but uh, got lucky and he didn't. I took it to him and he was like, you know what, just give me five bucks for it. And that is the 2004 Usher Tour tee right here. The Truth Tour 2004. You have Usher right there on the front with his name's going down the side. You do have a tiny little hole right there in the top and a couple of little tiny holes down here by the 2004. But with even with those little flaws, I knew for only five bucks I had to take it. And not only is it just Usher, but if you turn it on on the back where the tour dates are, you'll see that Kanye West is actually on here as well. So definitely worth picking up for only five bucks. And then this next jersey, um, it's I got it from the same guy that I get a lot of my stuff from. Um, he always has just everything he's selling is always five dollars. So I ended up getting three things from him, so a total of fifteen. Uh, the first thing being this Sacramento Kings Chris Webber jersey. I've actually had one of these uh, exact jerseys, but it was a two X, probably like a month or two ago. And I ended up selling it for like forty bucks. So for five bucks, I knew um, I had to grab this one. It is the throwback one, size large on the jock tag. Then on the back, you got number four Webber. It does have a couple little light stains, but I should be able to get them out. And then the other two things I got from him for five dollars each. First one being these humongous Air Force Ones right here, size 14. These released in 2008. Just your green and white Air Force and has like this weird preparation on that side panel. Picked them up because they were super cheap, five bucks. I figured a good cleaning, somebody will end up wanting these. And there is the other one. Then the second pair of shoes I picked up from him for five bucks is a pair of the Chicago Up Tempos right here. Now, unfortunately, these are not in the greatest shape. They're dirty, which I can fix that and clean, but both of them are missing the uh, straps that go back here in the back of the heel. And I know a lot of people probably would have left them because of that, but I mean, I figured maybe somebody will want them as beaters. Uh, for five bucks, you can't really go wrong. So I went ahead and scooped them up. I was never like the biggest fan of these. Um, I don't know, just this, this shy just looks weird to me. And there's the other one again, strap missing. But like I said, there are five bucks. Actually, I got one more thing from him. I forgot, I actually got four things. So it was $20, not 15. Um, and the last thing I got from him, a little beat up, a little dirty, but I'm gonna clean them up and I'm probably just gonna end up keeping these and beating them up anyway. And that is a pair of the Charlie Brown Old Schools right here by Vans. I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to own this pair and I ended up getting rid of them and I kind of regret it after that. So I'm gonna try to clean these up as best as I can and just keep them because they are my size. If you can see on the tongue, you got good on the right one and grief on the left one. So it says good grief. And you have Charlie Brown on that insole. I'm just gonna clean these up as best as I can. Uh, hopefully they clean up decently and um, I'll probably end up just keeping them. The next pair I picked up, paid 10 bucks for these. That is a pair of the Adidas Ultra Boost one point O's and this is the wool colorway. Picked them up because Ultra Boost just still do a little good for me um, and I figured they're a 1.0. 1.0's usually go pretty quick when I get them. So I went ahead and scooped them up. They are a size 11 and a half in men's so way too big and honestly I'm not like the biggest Ultra Boost collector. I just need the black and white pair to you know wear around or whatever and I'm happy. So that's those for 10 bucks. And then the next shoe I picked up, these I also paid $10 for. Now these I probably would have kept if they were my size because for one they're super clean still. Um, well taken care of whoever owned them before. And two, I really like the colorway on them. There's a pair of these Air Max 1 Premiums, the Jewels. So the upper you have like this really, really like light pink. And then you have like this cream midsole. And then the gold swoosh. And then you have like a gold Nike on the tongue and then the Nike in the inside. Really, really clean colorway in my opinion. Those are a size 11 in men's. There is the other one. But for only 10 bucks, I had to scoop these up because like I said, I really like the colorway and I'm a big fan of the Air Max 1. And then last but not least, picked these up for 35 bucks because they're in great shape. I know it's a shoe that not a lot of people mess with anymore, but I know there's still people out there that love them. And that is a pair of the foam posits right here in the Dr. Doom colorway. So as you can see, these things are like 
barely worn. Uppers are still super clean. Just your simple black and white shoes, so that's always a plus because you can wear them with anything. Here's the other one right there. They still got the Nike Air on the inside, and bottoms are still pretty clean. They just need a good like wipe down. But for a white bottom, like they're really clean. And those are actually a size 12 if that's coming up. I'm personally a fan of the foam posits. The only one I still have left in my collection is the metallic reds. Uh, reason being, those are like my favorite foam all time. But this uh, Doctor Doom colorway is a classic colorway. If I had found them in my size, maybe I would have kept them because, like I said, black and white, you can wear with everything. Um, and I'm still looking for a pair of pearls and a pair of pine greens. For only 35 bucks for a super clean pair of Dr. Dooms, I had to take them. So those are my flea market grabs for this weekend, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button and let me know and it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can. And hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys do enjoy the video. Videos. I will see you guys next week with another one, so later. I'm a chef shifter at Post Masquerade. Are they in both face and mind? I'm free for you to draw. I'm a chef shifter. Chained down to my core. Please don't take